The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us, folks. Welcome to the Bull Buy Bear Binary Option Hour, uh, sponsored by Nadex. And, uh, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform yet, come over to our website at tfnn.com and you're going to see the Nadex banner right on the front. You hit that, bring you over to Nadex. You can download the platform, it takes all of about 30 seconds. And they will put uh, $25,000 of funny money into your account. And uh, we will walk you through uh, some different trades. Because the bottom line is that uh, whether you're trading currencies, whether you're trading um, equities, whether you are trading commodities, uh, they basically, they have it all. Uh, and, you know, uh, you can do spreads. You can say uh, it's going higher, it's going lower. And as uh, today we got the... You've heard it's the bull bear binary option hour. So, well, well, today we get the bear. It's the bear option hour. It's the bear right? option hour today. You think the uh, funny money, is that sponsored by the Fed or the ECB? You know, I, I, I that, that, that would be pretty good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. No, that, 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 that is another good tagline. There's, there's, there's no doubt about that, man. There's no doubt about that. Market-wise, right now we get uh, you get the Dow down 90, Nasdaq's off 39, S&P's are off 12. We get uh, gold up 850, silver's up 36 cents. Um, light sweet crude uh, down 246. You're trading at uh, 100 put point zero eight. And bonds. Bonds are going to make this run. Right now, we are at 143.10. And now, and this is still without King Dollar. Yeah. Okay. This is still yeah. without King Dollar, right. which is pretty amazing. There's, there's no two ways about this. It's clawing its way back, but still, still down, down six ticks right now. That's right. And, and if you want to see something that's pretty wild, folks, what I'm going to put, put up right here right now. See, when I was home... What happened is that I came out of my cave this morning. Oh, you did, baby. And see, as I came out of my cave this morning, if you're, you're looking at my platform right here, the Nadex platform, and as you're looking at it, I already had done two trades that were there for 20 Gs. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I love that. They expired at 10 o'clock, which they came in the money, and you can see there's three more down there that I already banged out this morning. I love it. Uh, I love it. You know, it, 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 I'll tell you, man, it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, how uh, this platform works because the platform you can either do the spreads folks and if you do the spreads in fact i'll open it up right now so you can see if i if i well, let's see open, let me open the spreads up if we'll do let me just get the there we go okay they call them bull spreads but the fact is they are spreads just like an option spread and you can either buy them or you can sell them and they go within a, a range of points that's how it works so like if we turned around and said, okay, the, on the daily, on the S&P, what you'd have is this. You get, let me get this closer so I can just see it for a second. <laughs> so we have a, a range of points. Uh, we, right now, the S&P, we're trading out at 1374. So you, you'd have a, a range of points from 1350 to 1390. That, yeah, there's a few different ones. But if I, if I put that one up, that's the floor and that's the ceiling. Uh, 1370, 1350 to 1390. You're at 1374. Now, see what's interesting about that one. Each contract's 100 bucks. So, what you would, would be risking on that one, that that's right at the halfway point. Yeah. You know, so when we were talking with Daryl, Daryl Martin, folks, trades these quite a bit. And you're going to hear him a lot more on TFNN. Um, because what I picked up off him, which is, which is really cool, him understanding how this, you want to get as close to you can as the to the floor or the ceiling when you're trading them. Okay. okay. Because that's where your less risk is. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and what, what is really neat, like to, to this morning was a classic case because what the, what the classic case would have been, well, here's one right here. See, there it is, the 1370 to 1410. So, on the 1370, I mean, I, I can't buy this thing. <laughs> It'd be sacrilegious. <laughs> um, but bottom line is that the... Um, well, again, you're looking at the ES Mini, right? 
I'm looking at ES Mini. Yes, okay. I am. You yes, know, am. so so on the uh, daily on the on the futures, which right. you got is you, you do have the ES Mini coming into the May second swing point high. Okay. So you know that that which is uh, thirteen seventy three fifty looks like maybe thirteen seventy three and you're set thirteen seventy five. So. You'd have to, in order to take that, you'd have to see some type of significant bullish sign. Well, let's just see what happens. If if I did buy it, yeah, and I bought one just so you can get an idea of, and I bought it at thirteen seventy six point eight zero, just so you can see what the setup is. Okay, so this is what the setup would be. So if I bought it right here, and my risk would be sixty dollars, my maximum profit would be three hundred and thirty two dollars. That's okay. how this would work. Which is and you'd be neat. looking for a close of what? The maximum profit on this would be that the S and P turned around and went to fourteen ten. Four no fourteen ten. Yeah, fourteen ten. Yeah, twenty five points. Oh. Right, nine. <laughs> because see, with the, the the floor is three thirteen seventy, the high is yeah, okay. fourteen ten. Now let, let's just do it the opposite way. Okay. Let's just say that if we sold it. If we sold it, what happens is that. It's saying your maximum loss is three twenty two and your maximum profit yeah. is sixty dollars because your floor is only thirteen seventy. Yeah. See how that works? Yeah. It's pretty yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. neat, really. Yeah. yeah. No no doubt. Now let's see if we get some uh Yeah, let's not take that trade. No, no. I, I this is as I said, this is the bear option hour today. And we when well, and the bear already got there are the bear already got fed big time. Yeah. Yeah, I had no, no, no. I had them close at ten o'clock. Yeah, which had, is beautiful. See, what you, what you have, folks, you can have them close at ten, have them close at eleven, and have them no. close at. See, the, in the ones. If Were we, you taking a look at it before the uh, jobs numbers came? Yeah, up? Yeah, I, okay, I okay, traded okay, them so before the jobs numbers okay. came up. So when you so take at that a look, stage, you had a pretty you, nice ability to find the floor and the ceiling. It was huge, right? It was huge. Okay. When you take a look at the bottom, the open positions, you see there's three open positions left right now. I have one open for the S and P at four fifteen, one and two for the small caps at four fifteen. And because of the way the market went, they're all in the money really good right now. Yeah. Um, two of them expired, but in the money at t 10 o'clock. Now, did you take a look at both sides of the uh, uh, trade just to see what I did. Okay. I did. But, so what did that, what did that look like? Uh, well, to me, well, here, I can show you. If we go look at the S&P first, if, I, if we pull the S&P up, what you had with the S&P is that I, I loved, you know, basically where it was. It was coming, you know... You had a downdraft yesterday of what? Uh, yeah, about 2 o'clock. Yeah, 1392. Yeah. Okay, uh, it was at uh, 1385. And, you know, of course, I was looking at Europe. And I was like, hey, man, you know, Europe is toast. Um, the DAX, they try to hold the DAX up, folks, and it just, they couldn't handle it. I yeah. mean, the, the DAX, they did everything they could to hold it up. And it just wouldn't, just wouldn't stay. Yeah. Uh, volume out here this morning. Let's see what we're doing. 137, which is not a huge amount in the NYSE, and 341 on the NASDAQ. And we're, 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 well, that's, that's a lot in the NASDAQ. That means that by the time we look it off, we might have 800 million. So that, that is a lot in the NASDAQ. Uh, we go over to Apple. We take a look at Apple. Apple's going after it. It is. Apple's yeah, going, Apple's going, going it after it. Had some volume, at least at the, uh, yeah, the no, first she's, she's, half she's hour. Got, she's got juice. Yeah. She's got juice. In fact, she's already going to do. So check this out. Apple's going to go break it. So watch this, folks. Now you get an ABC structure inside the larger ABC. The small one is just it's going coming off of the bounce. Yeah, off the bounce. So the small one is six eighteen to uh, five seventy eight. Well, it's not that small, is it? <laughs> that's <laughs> well, that's twenty two well, thirty two yeah, forty. In, in Apple's that, case, that's forty bucks. That brings you uh, to forty. That's oh, this is interesting. You, this is sick. Listen to this, folks. The large ABC and the small ABC have the exact same price projection. That's, five five that's, zero. That's, that's nice. Okay. Isn't that wild? Nice, yeah. The first that's one, nice. remember, it hit five five five. Never hit the full thing. Five right, five right, zero. That's right. That's right. Five yeah. five zero is the full one. You know. Now, now there's. If you want to hear something that's really wild, there's actually a larger one. If in fact, when you break the five five five, yeah, it has volume. Because then you can take from the very top of six forty four to five fifty five, and that's that's a monster. That one there will get you back right, into. Right, right, uh, right, right. That's ninety bucks. That gets you back into five five twenty. So, no doubt. Beautiful thing, man. Yeah. Hey, let's go over to this gold market. Let's see what, what's happening. See, you know, gold gold is up twelve bucks right now. And let's see if she can get any juice. Okay, so she gets to. She's already had. Look at this. That's nice. That's a twenty points price spread. And she got volume in it. Nice. Yeah, she just, uh, I like in the last that. ten minutes. So I like the last that. thirty minutes. Yeah. Okay. 
We got some juice. We finally got some juice in there. Let's see if a few of these can get off the bottom. Oh, that's not off the bottom yet. G O L D. Look at Wrangle Resource. I just looked at Gold Corp. Wrangle. Nope, they're not off the bottom. I can tell it. Unbelievable. You know what is what is what is amazing though too is uh, you know this, this is the weekly gold chart. Okay, okay cool. Okay, you know going going back just 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 showing a trend line, folks. Right. You know, going back into two thousand eight. But if you're simply in this trend line, you just you're dealing with the bottom of the uh, candle or the bottom of you know whatever it is that you might be using on your charts here. And so if you just start in the low here, it's 681, going back to That's October amazing. 24, 2008. Right. And you simply, in this case here, you know, I picked up the next swing point that I hit was in July 2010 when gold traded down to 11.55. Yes. And just watch how that, and, and you also had even uh, the second point really was uh, going back in 2008 to November 14th. So you just take a look at how this trend line that is That is held. absolutely huge, man. You know, Oops. it's and then it, this morning, and you know, folks, it was, it, it was it, pushing right down into it. It was like, right. oh, is this the week when it's going to actually right. bust if, through? If you're in your car, if Steve has a trend line up that's just absolutely amazing. I mean, from six eighty five, yeah, and you know, it came down. The, is this a weekly or a monthly? Now? This is a weekly. So okay. just, just to make so it a little, that way, it's so, easier to look. So at now this is where it gets interesting. The last. Out of the last four weeks, it's hit it three times, that's including right. today. That's right. And, you know, that's that's dangerous. There's no two ways about that. Now, that's what I'd love to do. Okay, we'll do this. We're going to put volume on, to, on that. Because how you hit the bottom of that trend line is going to tell you, is there force coming down? Yeah. And, you know, does it want to break that trend line? Yeah. You know, so that's you know, it's, it's not bad. It really hasn't had the, yeah. the juice. Not, 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 like, it has, not it is, like what it, we have at the highs. It has not had it. Yeah. Well, would you, see, when you go back, this is what's, uh, yeah, you want to you want to do it. Now, what happens with these channel lines, now, this yeah. is sick, folks, okay? And I don't know how this works, but I know it works. And even, you do not want to see more volume at the highs of the trend line as it going into the line, even versus the lows. So, like, if we go back even when it was 700. Yeah. You know, you want to see what what the volumes oh, okay, were. Back there. Here. Okay. No, no, no. Along the trend line. Oh, okay, along okay, the trend okay, line. Okay, okay, you, okay, gotcha, okay, okay. The, the okay, measurement, yeah, sure. the measurement Got is it. the volume along the trend line going up, which is really crazy. Because what I mean by that, folks, is that now see that's a good one. So that's, you had four ninety one. Yeah. Had, then you had seven hundred up here. Okay. Okay. And then when you came down here, you had uh, looks like uh, three hundred. That's, so that's 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 good. That's great. Okay, that's what you wanted. That's and a dangerous one. All of a sudden, one. you got back to seven hundred. That's a dangerous one. Yeah. And then in the last uh, other, yeah. then you got six hundred. It's a danger. We got a danger right now. Four forty-eight. Yeah, six hundred last. Yeah. yeah, it's that's saying that there is force going into that line. Yeah, you know. But isn't it wild? So, so in the in the context, it's like how do, how does the yeah. math work behind that? How does that ha have a memory oh, of my. of of that? Isn't yeah. that crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the thing is, that's why, that's why, folks, whenever you're trading, whatever time frame you're trading on, go up a couple of levels to look at the charts. Yeah. See what else is up there. No it's doubt. always good. There's always, there's always a treasure up there. It's a beautiful thing. Hey, listen, you know what, folks? Steve already has bulletproof coffee. I'm, I get, I'm getting mine ready right now. Oh, baby. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all you tigers and tigresses, you stay right there. We'll come right back, folks. X-Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex-listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold-silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has 50 million in its treasury, having spent over 60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year end, as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story gold mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. 
Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shree's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. What you think about, you bring about. What you focus on grows. If you're committed to becoming an extraordinary trader and investor, then make mastery your outcome. Yes, my best student, Steve Rhodes, became my best teacher. But even more important is what he's taught me, and the time is now for you to take advantage of his knowledge. Thanks, Tom. I've learned that it's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives, but what we do consistently. I want to teach you the consistency that exists in the stock, futures, forex, and commodity markets day in, day out. For one solid day, Friday, May 18th, I'm going to conduct an online master trader course that'll teach you how to buy and sell the D point. This one pattern alone with the single best entry and exit techniques when combined with my money management strategies will create extraordinary rewards for you and your family. The course will be archived so you can review it as many times as you'd like and it'll teach you to become a master. All the details are on the homepage at tfnn.com. Sign up today because mastery is one click away. It's your decisions, not your conditions that determine your destiny. Wow! Go get them, folks. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your the Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. You're listening to the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, sponsored by Nadex. And if you haven't test drove the platform yet, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, outstanding platform. They'll put 25000 of funny money into your account, and you'll be out there uh, buying and selling. And uh, as uh, we said a little bit earlier, today's the bear binary option hour. <laughs> it is. Boy, they're hammering away at the FTSE in the UK. Oh, baby. Let me Man. tell you, folks, this... Go a uh, Friday. If, you know the whole thing is lined up. You know you, you've had the dollar down to do a triple top. Um, you know testing, testing, testing. I mean, you know I felt like I was back in school, man. I mean I, having so many tests it was insane, right? And bottom line is that you know you yesterday Steve and I did the afternoon show together, and bottom line. At, at the close, folks, there was seven hundred nine million on the NYSE. Well, you know what? Five minutes later, it was eight hundred eighty-four million. Yeah, boom! That was uh, someone that was pretty, came that in. Was and came amazing. in hard, and yeah. you'll see the same thing today. They're not going to go home over the weekend, you know, when the market's trending lower, um, because the the profits that have been made are big, you know. So it's like, okay, we might get, keep them on the table for yeah. what? Yeah, yeah, you know. So uh, big, big, big weekend, uh, right? They're having the election over in. Uh Oh, yeah. It, it, yeah. yeah, he's toast. The Sar guy in France Sarkozy, is toast. Sarkozy on his way out? Yeah. Well, you know, it's simple for politicians. Just tell people you're going to give them everything and, and, you know, birthday cakes and everything else, and they're going to vote for you. You know? And so they, they, <laughs> they, they... Europe is in tough shape. There's no doubt about it, man. I mean, they're... You know, it's... It's, it's, not, it's not a good scene. You know, we'll see... Uh, what kind haven't, of because currency wise, you haven't seen the euro fall apart or anything. No, because they, they're going to hold know, it up. Uh, yeah, they're, 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 they're holding it. They're, they're doing holding it. it up as much as they can. 
And I suspect, you know, our own feds behind the deal, too, trying to hold it up. Yeah. Because they know how many of the banks, you know, are in trouble. And bottom line, folks, is that, you know, we don't want a disaster. There's no doubt about that. But they, they, it's about time they take some responsibility over there, too. <laughs> yeah, the, the currency market really stable at this stage. You yeah. Know, I mean, you know, no, 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 it absolutely is. Absolutely is. Just just wait until I have that, some, some of that bulletproof coffee. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go take a look at some of the high-volume stocks out here. Um, right now, you get BAC down 25 cents. That's going to be interesting. We'll have to go look at that. Um, let's see. Uh, Green Mountain uh, is up 183. Don't touch that, folks. That's going down another $20. That thing is dead meat. Well, yeah. I guess it's, well, it's at 27 now. Oh, my God. $27. That's yeah. sick. That really is sick. From News around, from around one yeah. seventy or something. Or one yeah. Hand, something. yeah. One, no, I think yeah, it's one forty. Yeah. One forty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you got uh, Cisco Systems down forty four cents. We got GE off nineteen. Intel's down fifty one. Oracle's off forty nine. Wells Fargo's off twenty two. LinkedIn. LinkedIn's got some action. Let's go over to LinkedIn. Sure does. LNKD. LNKD. They came out with numbers last night. Uh, LN. LN. DK, LNDK. There she goes. So LinkedIn, oh, that's, you know what, folks? If you like LinkedIn, just sit there. Don't worry about it. You're going to get it. Because what LinkedIn's going to end up doing is an island top. Oh, boy, that would be a dangerous one. You know, what you have here, folks, is this. LinkedIn is traded today from 115 to 120. It's trading at 118. It has the volume. You know, yes, so, the, so, yes, the, so the neat thing here is that you want LinkedIn good. Just sit there and groove, okay? Because you're going to end up buying LinkedIn at about $91. And then you're going to want to be all over it, you know, because uh, it had volume at $91. It's going to have volume today. It, it will be a complex ABC structure in the way up. It, it, you know, it's going to, it has already taken the B point out. It's going to have the volume. And more than what, you'll, what you'll get is that, oh, look at that. I love it. One of the Tigers. I'll tell you, folks, if you haven't test drove the Tigers den yet, Come over and test drive. You can test drive it for a month for free. It's, uh, uh, it would be a three gap play. It's, it, looks oh, like, it looks like it. it, it one of our tigers, he's all over it, and it is a three gap play, and it's a beauty. And this is how a three gap play works, folks. Okay. A three gap That's play, all three gaps will get filled. The first gap on this is from $77 going down February 9th. Okay? The second gap is from March 20th. You get a gap at 87, the third gap's today. Well, listen to this. This is just amazing, folks, how these work. Now, this will take three or four months to come back. They'll come back and fill the gaps. That's the bad part if you're in the stock, right? If you're not in the stock, folks, hallelujah. You know why? Because the way that the three gaps go, the first gaps, that's the bigger trend. They come back, you're going to be all over them at that point because they go, it goes all the way back topside. And it's, a, it's these three gap plays. I have paid so many tuitions with three black cat plays when my children were younger. I'm not kidding. It, boom. It's beautiful. And big tuitions. <laughs> Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all you tigers and tigresses, we appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. You stay right there, folks. We're going to come right back. You've heard Tom O'Brien on the air and you've always thought about trying out his newsletter, Market Insights. Well, now is the perfect time. For a limited time only, when you sign up for a two-week free trial to Market Insights, we'll send you a free copy of Tom O'Brien's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. If you decide to cancel within the two-week trial period, pay absolutely nothing and keep Tom's book as a free gift from us. Tom sends out his daily newsletter each morning by 9.30 a.m. with trade recommendations including price targets and price stops. As recently as March 21st, Market Insight subscribers closed out a position for more than a 25% profit in just over two weeks. To get your two-week free trial to Market Insights, along with your free copy of The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Supplies are limited for this one-of-a-kind special, so act today and don't let this opportunity pass you by. Offer only valid for new subscribers. Thank you.
In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND-dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and Dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan for Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney LLC, member SIPC. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when temporary market spikes move against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the advantage of keeping your trades open even when the market temporarily spikes against you. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique short-term binary options that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rose, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. We get the Dow right now down a buck thirty. Nasdaq's off fifty-two. S and P's are off fourteen. You get uh, Apple's getting taken a bite out of down twelve bucks. With volume accelerating, um, and you know the King showed up. The King showed the up. King, it's about the king, time, the king man. Showed up. Up nine cents now. Nine cents. And let Talk me tell you something, folks. <laughs> <laughs> the king wants to go a lot higher. And this market, when the king goes higher, watch out. Because, you know... <laughs> the last two days, there's been... Uh, the king hasn't done anything. Yeah. It's building king. some cars. And, you know, the euro wants to go lower. This is a, this is a classic, uh, you know, just building cars type of situation that is really going to be wild watching how it shakes out. Now, let's go over to that oil market. Because I know you're watching oil. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we'll see where the shakes are. You won't be watching oil anymore. No, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know why he's not going to be watching yeah. oil anymore, well, folks? Keep watching it. Because but, uh, he's already taught me. He's going to hey. teach all of you uh, folks out here at the Master Trader the D point. But you know what? He's already taught me that. And I can see these two huge Steve Rhodes candles coming oh, at him. That's and right. The, 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 that, that signals, that screams yeah. ASAP. I am not touching that. Yeah. we got to see how much unwinding... Uh, completes by uh, Monday. Yeah. I guess with the new changes. Yeah. Well, this... <laughs> you know, right right now, we can see it's unwinding. Well, what happens... Yeah, well, let's you talk know. about this for a second. Because what happens, folks, is that the Chicago Merck 
change the rules for their members. And what happens is that, and this has been going on for a long time, it's always been um, uh, controversial anyway, that the members claim that they're always hedging, that's, that's they're lying. You know, they weren't always hedging, they were, they were trading, okay, that's what you want to be a member for. So the, the Chicago Merck changed the rule, and that means that they have to put up the cash now, starting Monday. Yeah. And the bottom line is that, you know, there's no way they're going to put up that kind of cash. So they're going to sell positions. Now that, and it's real possible that that will absolutely also change the dynamic going forward, you know. Yeah. Period. Good, that, good Period. Point. Good point. In fact, if you take a look at the, uh, just the commodities in general. Yes. Because uh, it's easy for you to pull up that screen. So you got crude oil leading the way down, natural gas pulling back. Yeah, crude oil is down 3%, natural gas 2.7, heating oil 2.3, gasoline 2%. So all you folks out here, all of us, we're going to have, have cheap gas again. Yeah. Again. We got a long way before we get yeah. cheap gas. Maybe at some point we'll pull up UNG, see how it's pulling back into, uh, you know, because it, it, it had a pop off the uh, bottom. Yeah, that's li it's light volume. Let me, let me, actually, why don't I just, I'll pull, yeah, up, just pull, up, I'll, I'll pull up the actual contract. Yeah. So yeah. if we go pull up that natural gas contract, so NGM2, NGM2. Okay, so natural gas right now is at 225 and put the volume underneath this and you yeah, buy. Not too bad right now. So is it, in, is it into the top of that case? It's into the top. So the oh, buy is so 212. Yeah. 212. You can have plenty of time to get back in natural gas, folks. No doubt about it. Let's go to Dave in Boston. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Hey, guys, how you doing today? We're doing great, man. You having a good day out there? Hey, it's rainy in Boston. It's been the past five days. We had better weather in March. Well, I, I better get <laughs> you I better get you Obi Zach. I better funny. get you Obi oh, Zach so you can get covered. I love it. Hey, I'm enjoying my coffee with the butter in it. Let me tell oh. you, that's good stuff. I will eat it. It is. I had, I had a full cup this morning. And I have my coffee, but in the next break, I'm getting the butter. Hey, I, I got to tell you guys, I mean, by trade, I'm a personal trainer and bodybuilder, and, and, and I've been listening to Nico, and let me tell you, he is so right on with his whole psychology on eating and how to eat. Isn't he? And, and good fats. He, he, is, he is so far ahead of the curve. Uh, the FDA has been so into grains and all right. these processed sugars that are just making people fatter. Yeah. Right. Nico well, is right on it. Let me tell you, he's he, fantastic. He is. Well, I'll tell you, folks, if you hadn't heard, now Nico shows on a 12. If you, you don't know who Nico is, I haven't heard him. Yeah, let me tell you who he is. Number one, he's 60, 67 years old. He is a jiu-jitsu expert, yes. right? Yes, he is. Um, I work out with him three days a week, and I have for over nine years now. But the thing that blows my mind, and I say to him, you got to picture this, folks. He's in great shape, oh, yes. you know, as a jiu-jitsu guy. But you should see, you know, I come in, right, and he fights every day. So some days, right, he got black and blues everywhere. He says, <laughs> oh, he says, this 22-year-old kid come in today, man, you know, he wanted to beat me up, right? And so it's, it's so cool, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, absolutely. It is amazing. Absolutely. I mean, That's because right. it all has to do with your head, folks. It really does. Yeah. I mean, he takes care of himself. But I'm telling you, man, black and blues, he's, he's got some, you know, sometimes he gets some. And I said, so what happened? He says, I ah, got a young kid, you know, he wants to bang me around. <laughs> he, and he still choked him out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, he knows his stuff. It's, it's just so funny, man. It's like, oh, my God, you know. Outstanding. Hey, uh, Steve, we, we got we got stopped out of our positions. But, Tom, uh, XL Maritime, looks like we're coming into the buy zone. What do you think of the volume? Uh, yeah, the volume well, don't buy it yet, man. Don't, we're coming into the buy zone, but, you know, you, what you have to, this is uh, XLM, folks, uh, uh, EXM, rather. Right. Um, and what you have here is this, okay? The... You get the, the the first swing point that there is at 160. You get a uh, five eight hundred thousand shares. Okay, um, the next swing point is down there at 158, and then you get the full breakaway at 152. Um, I would not step into this the way this market is. This market's going to go a lot lower. If this market's going to go a lot lower, let it break break the swing, which it's going to do today, and then see how it reacts. Meaning coming against the lower 152. What you can't do, Dave, is that when you get a market, and we're going to have volume down today, this market's going to go down for, you know, I suspect a couple weeks. And what should happen if EXM is going to be a buy is that the contraction of price will stop dramatically and the contraction of volume will. Then you get the setup going. 
Yeah, I got you. We already broke through that 1374 in the ES Mini, so I guess the 1366 is next. Yeah, we'll oh, listen, man, I got, my, I got my peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> He's getting me some toast right now. Oh, man, I'll tell you, he's the best. I mean, uh, he is, isn't he? Fats, yeah. it, it's so true. I'm 53, Tom, and and uh, uh, I tell you, the, 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 I've been eating fats, good fats, for years, and uh, people look at me like I was crazy, but now they're coming around. Yeah. Hey, you know what? The, you know what? I, what I absolutely learned, and, and folks, this, if folks think you're crazy, you're all set. There's no two ways about it. But you know, no, seriously, I am not because there's something. All, all that means, and I'm not. I'm, all that means, folks, is that you have an independent point of view. That's what I've seen more than anything. It's like, well, what's wrong with this? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Talk, talk to me. You know, right. unfortunately, what many folks do is that they believe bureaucracies. Okay, and folks, there's no reason to believe a bureaucracy. A bureaucracy, you know, feeds on itself. Okay, and, and there's nothing wrong with them. We need bureaucracies. We need them smaller, but you do need them to take care of, you know, the envi environment, roads, you need, you know, and all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah, for sure, for and sure. Safety. That's right, that's no, right, uh, that's right. be, you know, that's right. you, you definitely need that stuff. Military, yeah. But, but, but the, the fact of the matter is, you know, that no one has all the answers, man, you know. Trust yourself. True. Trust yourself. That's the bottom line. Cooking, brother. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Have a great right, one, you man. Too, man. Have a safe one. Yeah, you know, and I, I'm looking at a buck. One point four three dollar forty three is the is kind of the next target area here on. Oh, the wouldn't that be beautiful? Yeah, right. so buck forty three, which is nice because and when you get back there, folks, you're coming right back into where it broke out in February, but you're also coming back out and testing the swing point low uh, on uh, December thirtieth. So you got to which the high out there is a buck forty nine. So that's that's really the target that you're looking for, and you got to have the right volume set up on it. Right, and folks, we're talking about XL Maritime, so that's that's the technical setup. Yeah, I think they came out with numbers yesterday or something. Let's see what they actually uh, so, what they actually said. Oh, uh, there, there they go. Okay, so the loss was uh, forty one cents. The estimated loss was thirty eight cents. Okay, so we just talked the technical setup. Now the fundamental setup on this goes like this, folks. The now they they are in the shipping business. Okay, dry bulk business. Okay, if we go back, if you want to just see how bizarre and commodities can get and the shipping business can get, the rates used to be $66,000 a day. Yeah. 66000 And you know what, folks? The rates went from 66000 down to zero. Yeah. Down to That's zero. It's pretty, pretty amazing. It's, it's probably three months now, right? Yeah, at least three months since we saw the zero rate. And what the zero rate was, um, was that a uh, shipping company leased it for zero dollars and said, "Just pay the gas." Yeah, and so that's why these stocks have gone from one hundred and twenty dollars down to three bucks. Now, fundamentally, you know that you, you got can't, a ship you, product. You, you can't yeah. be at zero. That's so, right. so, right. yeah. so the bottom line is that that's why we like that trade. Let's go to uh, Mark in Massachusetts. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Not much. How are you two? Happy Friday. Like the last caller said, it's been raining here. I called Noah to see if I could borrow the York, but he said it's spoken for. Well, no, you got to go to South Boston. We got Obi Zach. Obi Zach is still hanging in South Boston. <laughs> no it. problem. I love it. I love it. Hey, Steve, I got a question for you. Yeah. Um, why, if we're going along America, do you always have a Jap Japanese t shirt on? Because <laughs> uh, 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 well, we love, we love the whole my, world. It's my second favorite country. Your second favorite. And because it's Saki Friday. Oh, that's what that's I wanted it. to talk to you about. So Saki. Saki Friday. Yeah. You know, that's that's how I celebrate my Fridays. A little adult oh. beverage. I'll find. I haven't been able to find the Polo uh, USA shirt. But 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 Japan is actually it is my it is my second favorite country to go hang out in. Yeah, you know, it's a, they got yeah. incredible golf courses. Yeah. Uh, the you know just in you know great sushi, which is uh, you know I could eat that. Uh, uh, just raw fish, uh, 365 days yeah. a year, twice a day, and uh, and the best sake in the entire world. You know, you know what's funny? Hey, what I just realized, right? I must have been made for Go Long America. You know what? So listen to this, folks. This is funny. I just realized this when you just said you couldn't find the, the polo shirt. Yeah. Okay, so in 19... Let's see. I got out of the Marines in 1970. And what happened, folks, in 1970... Holly Davidson made a uh, beautiful machine, of course, but they made a red, white, and blue one. So I had yeah. a red, white, and blue one. Oh, did you? Now, oh, listen man, to this. No, it, it gets better than that. I had a red, white, and blue one. And one of my friends, John Green, he might be listening. He was in the Green Berets. Yeah. He gets out, and he was down in North Carolina yeah. when, right before he was getting out. And he brought me home, right? 
He, he, folks, our gang was called the Cowboys. We were in the middle of the city. <laughs> we all I thought we were it. Cowboys. Right? I love it. I he love brought it. me home a red, white, and blue leather, beautiful hat, cowboy oh, hat. Oh, okay. And, really? Know, cowboy I, hat? A cowboy oh. hat, right? I had that thing forever, man. I wish I knew where that was because you couldn't even buy something like that anymore. Well, anyway, know. here's my here's my question for <laughs> guys. Here's my question, Tom. You always talk about energy. Now, if we if we come down hard, let's say uh, I, I don't know another twenty, thirty, forty, fifty points of the Dow. If we come ha down hard, will this energy uh, reverse itself on Monday? We'll have an update. No, they get two days to rest, three days to rest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's all it's uh, all it's all about breathing. You know, well, and, that, yeah, and, that's, and the, that's, and the that's reality is that, see, what, what happens, like, we bring up the Dow as this, you know, the, 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 the reality, the market really hasn't gone anywhere since February. Well, let's say March 13th, okay? Yeah. And it really hasn't, okay? So the first leg down, I, you know, I don't expect it to take out the leg down from April 10th. That would be 100% move for move. Do you know what I mean? So how we get into that is important, though. Yeah, because there's a good volume down there. Yeah, there's big volume, you know? So... You know, I suspect, you know, that that low there, folks, is 12,700. So let's say, you know, by Wednesday of next week, you're right there. Now, if you close right before that, then that's big problems because, you know, it'll, it'll get more rest, more things happen in the world, more people think, and, you know, then, then that creates energy. And last question, Tom. Is this the start of the run to 825? <laughs> I, I, we'll find out, won't we? You know, what, what has happened is that there are, there's a slew, I bet there's over 20 or 30 stocks right now that are already down there, so. Okay. So, so, so what we may know by, by Monday, hey, my, my, my take is that the highs are in and we're going south, period. That's it. Okay. The game is over, man. Take your money and run, folks. And the, no. only, the only risk you have there is that, I'm absolutely wrong, and the market goes higher. And if I'm right, you have your money. If I'm wrong, you just don't. You make less money. You know, you don't have to shot the market. I'm just saying, you know, if I've if I've learned anything in the markets, people don't take their money, and I don't get it. You know, I I just don't get it. I don't I well, don't know how that yeah, works. Yeah, I'd be case in point. Look 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 at Apple today. You know, that's well. I guess the, the, I guess what the thing is, and something you should you know you hear a lot about whether it's small business entrepreneurs and all that. I always have to take my money because I always want a new business. I like opening businesses, <laughs> right? I mean, so uh, whether it's cars or boats or you know houses or tuitions, I mean, you, you got to do something, man. Do you know what I mean? It's like what tui college tuition is going to the roof. Yeah, thank I'm God I'm done with those. Kid. We're done with those. Thank God. Yeah. We're lucky. Yeah. You're not. Okay, no, guys, not, you? not, complete, not, not completely. You uh, need some more godlies happening. I do. Absolutely. Did you have a great weekend, a safe weekend? And Thanks, we'll Mark. Have a great one, man. Bye. Have a safe one. Okay, so what do we got out here? We, okay, we, volume-wise, let's see, what time, what time are we at? We're at uh, 1040. So it's still shot volume, it folks, on the volume. NYSE. Sure you is. know, 197 is nothing. Now, NASDAQ at a half billion already. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a good number on the NASDAQ. Yeah, we'll see you coming into a Friday afternoon. People already, uh, well, of course, if it's raining in the Northeast, they're not heading out to the beach. Now they head out to the beach anyways. They don't even know what they the beach... They, they head out to the Hamptons on Friday. You can tell we're in Florida. They don't even know what the beach is in May. <laughs> no, I guess they do. They do. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all you tigers and tigresses, thanks for being here. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll 
you'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. But you get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off? Or yeah, some... I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighed of that was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin's Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 thousand ounces per year at a cash cost of only four hundred and fifty dollars per ounce the hollister mine in nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only 527 dollars per ounce great basin gold is cash flow positive and trades on the toronto and new york stock exchanges under the symbol gbg Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. And don't forget, folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN. And you're going to see the Nadex banner right on the front page. You hit that banner. Uh, you can test drive that platform right here, right now. Uh, that platform allows you uh, to trade with very limited risk, folks. It's defined risk at all times. Um, and with spikes in the marketplace, it is so cool because the reality is that, um, you know, you're not getting stopped out of positions um, left and right, you know, with spikes. Let's put it this way. So in, in, in right, certain right, trades, right, right, you right. get time to get back in. This morning was a classic. You yeah. know, not job numbers come out, spikes down. Two seconds later, spikes back up. Well, yeah. give it give it three more minutes and it's over. You know, so pretty cool. Um, Good point. You get a, you get a, yeah, it's it's, it's two, weeks from, uh, two weeks from today, you're, uh, you, you know, you get a pull uh, double duty. Two weeks from today, Steve's got a great be, webinar worldwide, right. folks, okay? We have a special... A promotion on it right now, meaning price uh, up until May 10th. Yeah. 
And, you know, it's going to be a full day webinar. Uh, we have great technology no matter where you are in the world, folks, okay? You can be out here growling a problem with the markets are going to be opened. Uh, what time is this? What time? We, we'll start at 9, so, nine. you know, Beautiful. we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll trade perfect. some live A, B, C, D patterns. We'll just yeah. uh, move down to a uh, shorter term chart because the A, B, C, D patterns are happening on all time frames. Right. Oh, we get a, we get, we're going to sing happy birthday to Mitch. Happy oh. birthday, Mitch. It's a beautiful thing. Ah, okay. I love Mitch. Casey's going to be having the uh, Super Full Moon celebration. Ah. In fact, uh, Saturday night should be, actually, if the skies are clear here in uh, Clearwater, should be a great full moon. Well, I Mitch, need to be I'll be your, I think you need to be on your back porch with a big cigar. I'm going to be. I'm going to be howling. Okay. I'm going to be howling. You know, you know, it's a really funny. It really with, with some guacamole. So you got to get Gua the oh, make I'll the guacamole ask, I'll ask with you a little, today. Bunch, little That's Nico's right. uh, tequila. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're going to be howling, no doubt. I like that, man. Oh, my. So this is Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. I what does Cinco de Mayo mean? Do you know? Um, yeah. It yeah. means you drink tequila. No, oh, I love it. It means, you know, we're celebrating. Uh, see that? That's we're celebrating with our friends from the South. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't actually know. Well, we're going to know pretty soon. We get it's done that. One of you tigers, you pull that up. <laughs> oh, oh, it just means 5th of May. Oh, you can tell I don't well, speak we knew, Spanish. Oh, well, I knew that. Oh, man. But I don't know why Why are we celebrating Cinco de Mayo. It means the bulls are dead. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Uh, oh, you got to love funny. it. Oh, yeah, that is too I'm funny. I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um... Let's go uh, see uh, how Apple's coming into this uh, 550 mark. Okay, so you let's go take a look at the 10 minute chart too. Uh, yeah, you get eight. One. You get eight million shares. So it's going to do the small ABC down, and it's hanging right before that high. That the, the highs high, the, the of the, high the low. The gap, yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. Mexican Independence Day. Thank oh, is that what it was? Okay. Mexican okay. Independence Day. Perfect. I'm all maybe, about, maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe. Oh, oh. yeah! You, you know, want to get us in trouble? We already we're good at getting in trouble. So you guys got to keep us out of trouble. The, uh, that's what the, that's what the, the tigers and tigresses are to keep us out of trouble. Totally. You know, uh, there's this. We, Angie and I get a couple Mexican restaurants. We go to quite yeah, a bit. Yeah. One of them has real pictures. Okay. okay of uh, is it Ponches Villa? Um, Oh, uh, he was he was one of the, the warriors folks. He was a, he was a fighter. Yeah. And oh man, the pictures are just dynamite. Oh. They're oh they're yeah. they're great. They're 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 pictures, folks. Picture this, you know, they're pictures in, in front of a uh, this the oh man, you, you know the name of this guy. He's famous, okay. Yeah. But he has guns all over him, right? Pancho Villa. Yeah, Pancho Villa. Yeah, okay. yeah. he's okay. got guns all over him, right? And he's with his his crowd, and yeah. they're with all their wives, right? Uh, and you can see they, they're taking a picture. Man, I, I, I love it. I love. Uh, I, I, I would like to live in those times. It's been a great week. That's a beautiful thing, you brother. Know? That's right. Looking forward to Monday. That's right. Listen, folks, have a great one. Have a safe one. You stay right there. We're going to Newton, Massachusetts next. Basil, Basil Chapman. And then we're going to keep you right, healthy right here back with uh, Nico DeHaan, David White, myself. Have a great one. Take care, folks.